Tourism, the biggest economic driver for the Caribbean region, received a devastating blow from the wave of hurricanes that crashed into the region late last year. However, the industry has always proven itself to be resilient and must demonstrate this trait now more than ever. The Caribbean Tourism Organization lent a voice to the countries most affected by Hurricanes Irma and Maria via an update on the recovery process that took place during the Climate Smart Sustainable Tourism Forum hosted in St. Kitts and Nevis. We actually have more beds on the water than we have on land. So we have a fleet of close to a thousand yachts. I mean, we've had a number of, you know, Cat 3, Cat 4 hurricanes. And for the first time in our history, that subsector was entirely decimated. I spoke with one of the heads of the industry just yesterday, and it's around 95%. Thankfully, we have the commitment of some of the main players in the industry that they're going to stay. BVI is open for business, but it has to be a trickle for the moment. Well, the major players will come on stream in 2018 in different timelines. The smaller properties, which we call the Charming Escapes Collection, some of them never closed. Of course, we know that if we are not operating at optimum, the spin-offs in terms of impact on livelihood is great. So the government of Anguilla through its labor ministry and the Anguilla Social Security Board have come up with a program whereby applications are being received as we speak for access to an unemployment fund. After Maria, we put together a tourism task force and we had a time frame of 60 days to restore most of the sites among other concessions for the hoteliers and the, and, and, and the tour operators. So our time frame was January 1st to have everything at least, you know, acceptable to receive tourists. And so far we are meeting our targets. Only 27% of our room stock is available. Wow. Only 27% because the hotels got the hardest burn of Maria in the tourism sector. And it's going to take some time. The Miglia Hotel though, Potiang Hotel, will be up and running by January 1st. So Antigua is open for business almost immediately. Barbuda, however, we have mainly day tours that we have going over there. What we realized, although we had significant damage to the lagoon, the frigate bird sanctuary, some of our historical sites and the beaches, without human intervention, they have been coming back. Our pink sand beaches are back. The lagoon was flushed, so we have a new lagoon. Well, quote unquote, and we have the frigate bird sanctuary that has all the birds have returned. So, and this is without human intervention. So, what we've been pushing is more the day tours. Most definitely, the Turks and Caicos Islands were open for business. In fact, most of our room stock, of course, is back in rotation, so to speak. And in fact, one of our flagship properties will be opening doors, beaches, to get things back up and fully going. And one or two of the other properties, of course, will be opening for the new year. So in terms of being open for business, we are, and the airlift and the likes, of course, has already begun. And also we expect to have WestJet reintroduce service as well for December. So we're definitely open for business, and whenever you're ready to book, call our 1-800 number. <laughs> In St. Martin, we have actually the highest occupancy rate for November, December ever recorded. And we have the highest average daily rate. You know, but the problem is we only have 35% of rooms. It's just that they're all full. There's a segment that I think uh, a lot of us have to keep in mind, and I kind of coin it resilience tourists. I think we recorded over 1,600 insurance adjusters came into St. Martin by November. I think the opportunity we have here is, again, I've got tourists coming to the island or people come to the island that never even heard of St. Martin before. But they are there now and they're having a great time. You know, they're coming here thinking, oh boy, I'm coming to do construction, something like that. It's a bad situation. But we give them a good experience. We educate our people that this, this is an opportunity. And we convert these people into people that will buy timeshare on the spot or buy a property or come back next year and, and so on. <music>